Mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. I just ate a hot pocket. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to unpack variables. You know what? That doesn't really rhyme, but as I was saying, in this video, what I want to do is I want to show you guys how to take a list and unpack it into separate variables all in one line. A nice little shortcut that's definitely going to come in handy a lot. So first, let's go ahead and make a simple list. So say that we have, I don't know, a store or maybe we're just buying a bunch of stuff online and we want to keep track of the information of these items. So the first element we want to keep track of is when we bought it or when we sold it. It doesn't really matter. Just make any list with like three elements in it. Just an example. Now for the second one, I'll put the name of the item. Say we bought some bread gloves. And the third one is how much did we spend on 851. Now, again, this data doesn't really matter. Just make anything with three elements in it. And also, if you guys don't know what bread gloves are, Google them and look in Google Images. Probably the best invention ever. So, we already know that anytime we want to access any of these elements in the list, what we can do is just type the name of the list and the position. So since it starts with zero, this will print out the date. If we just run this, so this prints out the date. We can also put item one, item two. Now, if we ever want to actually use these later on, sometimes putting item zero, that can be kind of confusing because, you know, it's really the date. The date always comes first. It's like uh, when we're making a program where the date always comes first. So we would store that in the date and then we store the other one in a name, item one, yada yada, and then the third one. Okay, this is already taken up a crap line of code. And, uh, you know, I don't want to clutter up my program. So wouldn't it be cool if there is a way that we could set each list element to a variable all in one line? Well, you guys are in luck because there is indeed a way to do that. So say that we have this list right here and we want to set each of these elements equal to a new variable name. Well, all we have to do is this. Put all of your variable names and separate them with a comma. So date, item, price. Now what this is gonna do is it's called unpacking a list into variables. So it's gonna set the first one equal to date, the second one equal to item. Actually, let's change that to name. And the third one equal to price. So now, later on, we can just do something like print name and check this out it prints out the name of it it saves you like uh, well it depends on how big your list is but a crap line of code now the only other thing I want to point out is this whenever you unpack a list into separate variables you have one rule that you have to follow make sure that the number of variables equals the number of items in your list so if you have a bunch of lists and they have different amounts or they're different lengths you can't really do this because it would be consistent and I don't know maybe you forgot to jot down the name of one thing it's gonna throw an error at you so there actually is a way that you can get around this and well, I was gonna show you in the next video but I might as well show you right now so whenever you have a list and they're all the exact same size then you can use that method and it's gonna work perfectly it's gonna make your code real nice and clean but what if you have lists that you want to unpack in variables that are different sizes. Well, we can't use that method, but we can use a new one using a new symbol called the star, and that's above the A on your keyboard. So when would we want to use this? Well, I actually saw a cool example in this book called, uh, I think it was called Python Cookbook. So if you guys ever want to check out a cool book with like, I don't know, it has a like, bunch of cool little scripts, Check that out. I think I uh, I bought it on Amazon. So anyways, whoever wrote that book, thank you for uh, this next bit of code. So what you can do is something like this. Say that you're a teacher and you gave your students a bunch of quizzes. Now, what you decide to do is you wanna drop the first and the last quiz gra grade and average the rest of the scores together. So maybe one class you teach has 10 quizzes. Maybe the other class you teach has five uh, quizzes so you have this program you want to make but the lists are going to be different links well what you can do is start making a function and we'll just name this function drop um, first and last because we're going to drop the first and last grades 
and we're going to average pretty much all the middle ones together to give their student the final grade. So what we're going to do is we're going to pass in grades and grades is going to be the list but instead of just unpacking it into a set number of variables what we can do is this the first item in the list is going to be stored in the variable first the middle elements in the list are going to be star middle and the last one is going to be stored in last now what this expression right here says is take the first item store it in first take all of the items in the middle now it doesn't matter if the list is 10 elements long then it's going to store the eight ones in the middle if the list is only three items long then it's going to only store one grade in the middle this little star expression right here is variable now, I probably shouldn't use the word variable but um I don't know you guys know what I'm talking about so that's exactly what it's going to do so the middle is the entire list excluding the first and the last so now all we have to do is calculate the average and you already know how to calculate average let me just do it real quick it's the sum of all of the items in the middle over the length and this is pretty much going to count how many items are in that list so now we can just do something like print average and check it out we'll call this function twice so you can see what I'm talking about so of course we need to pass it in some kind of list now for the first one I'll just give the students some test grades 65 didn't do too good on the first one um, 76 98 uh, like 54 tanked on that one and the last one he got a 21 he must have known that they were going to drop it so of course what this is going to do whenever we throw it in it's going to store 65 in first 21 in last and we're pretty much just going to toss those out because it's going to store all of these in middle and the average of 76 98 and 54 is 76 hmm, interesting now of course like I said it doesn't matter how many items we have 54 65 99 88 78 if we run this it's going to do the same thing so that ladies and gentlemen is not only how we unpack a list into variables but also how we can use the star expression to give our program a little more flexibility so thank you guys for watching um well that's all i got to say nothing more my bad i'll see you next time